Alright, so this is gonna be a video explaining this new-ish intermediate Gobies route that was sort of found and brought up by a few different people, uh, Moose Man videos, who sort of came up with the foundation for the route. And then me and a guy named Youngster Joey, who sort of added on to it and optimized it. So, I just mainly want to explain the route in this video, so it doesn't have to go on as long as it can. I'll talk about the time save a tiny bit at the end, but if you want to know like more details and specific timings, you can ask me later individually. I have timed a lot for this level, and I'm sure many other people have as well. So yeah, right away you're just gonna damage boost into gobies. I want to make sure that's clear, because some routes don't damage boost, some routes gold feather into gobies. So I want to make sure you know that this route does not. And you're gonna get this yellow ginger just like normal. Get the speed shoes. And then you're gonna come here and do the speed shoes in the sand. So don't let this turn you off from this route. Uh, I would really recommend practicing this a bit as much as you can. And in the description of this video, I'll be linking another video where I try and explain or give some advice on how to do it. So, anyways, after the speed shoes in the sand. You're gonna skip Gobi Clip, climb up Jinxie, and come up here. So now here, uh, you're gonna take flight. You're gonna take flight, and you're gonna go through that ring right there. So now, here the route gets a little confusing. Uh, the route's gonna diverge. It's gonna diverge depending on your cactus. Um, sorry, not your cactus. Sorry, your ring RNG. So. If you get Cactus Ring after this ring, you get the ring that spawns right there. Then you're gonna go fly all the way to this cactus over here. Alright? And then you're gonna shoot eggs into the nose. Then you're gonna go through the cactus ring. And then you're gonna go inside Jinxie and do all of Jinxie just as you normally would. And then after that, the route's basically the same as you would normally do it in the older routes. So I'll just quickly say it. You'll come out of Jinxie, get the paw notes. There'll be a third note there on the paw for you, in case that wasn't there before. Then you're gonna do the camera manipulation for that ring again. Go to the stairs, uh, shoot eggs into the first head, do all the matching pyramid stuff around there. Come out of matching pyramid, go around the moat, shoot eggs into the next head, then you're gonna come up, uh, come onto the flight pad, take off, beak bomb through this ring. Then you're gonna do Ruby's pyramid, do all of Ruby's. Then you're gonna go through this ring one more time. And if you got Cactus Ring, then this will be your last ring. So pay attention to that. And after that, you're gonna go towards that platform and shoot eggs into the third head. So that's where the diverging routes sync up. So I'm gonna explain the other route. Uh, quickly, not super quickly, and then I'll explain the rest afterwards. But uh, if you don't want to deal with the other route, with the other possibility, then just do what I just said until now. Just do that route that I said until now. It won't lose you that much time. It's just, it'll lower your chances of saving roughly three and a half seconds. And I'll explain why later. So if you do not get Cactus Ring, if you fly through this ring, from here, and you do not get Cactus Ring, then you're gonna do this. We're gonna pretend that we do not get Cactus, cactus Ring here, if we get it. Right. So, one, two, three, you're gonna Beak Bomb this target. And then you're gonna just do Ruby's Pyramid. Alright, do all of Ruby's, just as normal. And then what you're gonna do is get this ring just like normal. There's actually a strat that's faster than that strat that I just did right there. But I'll leave that for some other video. And you're gonna make sure to not get that ring. Do not get that beetle ring right there. That is not faster in this route. It may be faster in another route, but not in this route. Alright, so now after this ring, you're gonna basically pretend that you just came out of Jinxie. Just pretend that you just got this ring like this, right? Now you're gonna go through the stairs. I'll try to speed through this a bit. 
I'm gonna get those notes. I'm gonna shoot the first head. And you're gonna do matching pyramid and everything around it just as you normally would in any route. I just need to go inside it just to make sure the ring spawns. Uh, so now, after that, I'm gonna go do all this, get those notes. I'm gonna come here and then shoot eggs into this head that will be there for you. And you're gonna drop down, take off from the flight pad. Now here, what you're gonna do is beep bump through the ring and then fly, fly to the cactus. So I just landed there, that's just my fault. Uh, you're gonna beep bump through this ring. Now, basically what you're doing is you're gonna hope that you just, just hope that you get cactus ring. That's basically it. This just increases the chance that you'll get cactus ring at one point in the run. So then you're gonna land here. So now, you're gonna shoot the eggs into Jinxie. And if you got Cactus Ring, then get into Talon Drop before the cutscene plays. And you're gonna drop down to the Cactus Ring. And then you're gonna go inside Jinxie and do all that. So, basically this is literally, this diverging route is literally just to increase the chances of getting Cactus Ring. From 25% chance to roughly 43% chance. 44. So if you don't get Cactus Ring here, then the movement that you can do, the most optimal, is to shoot eggs there, shoot eggs there, and then... I did that wrong. That's my bad. And after you shoot the eggs, if you can, before the cutscene plays, go like that. Get into Talon Trot off the cliff. You won't take fall damage because the cutscene will play. Then you can just run to inside Jinxie. Alright? So then you do all of Jinxie. Alright, then after that, come out. Do this. You have to get this note here. It will be there for you and no matter what happens. Then you're going to do this ring just like normal. Just like with a normal trick. Now after this ring, you're going to go... Wow, that's ironic that I got cactus from there. You're going to go here. You're going to go to this platform right here and shoot the eggs. Now the route has sunk up. So, I didn't get cactus ring. So, that doesn't change much, it just makes makes you have to get an extra ring later, but you'll know exactly which one. So I'm just going to go quickly through the route again. You're going to do this, you're gonna be, uh, go through the cactus, go to Gobi. I'm going to pretend you're not doing water pyramid clip, uh, just for the sake of simplicity. You can add it into this route if you want. Something that's completely independent of it. Then you're going to do all of Water Pyramid. Go all the way up there. Then you're going to come out. Now if you didn't get Cactus Ring, then you're going to... If you didn't get Cactus Ring at any point, then you're going to get this ring now. But if you did get Cactus Ring, then you don't need that ring. So then you're just going to come here and do Sandy Butt. So you're going to do Sandy Butt just as normal. You're gonna go quick dive here, just like normal. Go around the entire moat, the entire water. Get the Jinjo Jiggy, all that. And surface here. And then... You're gonna go to the, uh, Gobi. Go to Gobi. And Trunker. You're gonna do all that, just like normal. And then what you're gonna do... Is... Shoes for those notes on the paw over there. Come up here. Don't pick out of talent chart. You're gonna get the jiggy, the jiggy here in in uh, speed shoes. Then you're just gonna do grabba. Uh, get the notes around grabba. And then you're gonna do the slope of beast jump to Gobi's third uh, to Gobi's third place. You're gonna do grabba. Uh, land on purpose. Get all, all these notes. Then come here and do all of this. You're gonna have to do the slip abuse, but there are tutorials out there if you don't know how to do it right now. So yeah, then you're gonna death warp and that's gonna be it. All right, so just a few more things to mention. This route, if you get cactus ring at one point in the route, 
then it loses roughly uh seven seven and a half no like six and a half to seven seconds to what stiv does right now as of the making of this video but if you do not get cactus ring then it loses roughly uh 11 10 seconds about that but yeah that's just about it it's quite a good route it's really consistent the health management is really nice and as long as you can get the speeches and the sand down, I think everyone should do it if you can. But yeah. Uh, I'll be linking in the description of this video three things. One is uh, some advice on a video on some advice on how to do the speeches and the sand. And then two more videos. One is just show, and then they're both just going to show the entire route. Just basically a Gobi's IL of each possible route that you can do, in case it wasn't clear enough. But yeah, that's just about it. If you have any questions, ask me or anyone in the BK Discord if you're there. But yeah, that's it. I hope this can help, and good luck.